We are following breaking news right now at 5 o'clock. Businesses evacuated, people forced out of their homes after multiple explosions at Tyler Welder Supply. That's on Highway 271. Let's jump right to our crews that are out in the field right now. CBS 19's Tristan Hardy is at the evacuation center tonight. But first, we start with CBS 19's Michael Aaron. Michael, some good news in all of this. So far, no reports of any serious injuries that we know of. That's right, Dana, and definitely good news in this. What could have been a very, uh, or it was a very chaotic situation, and it could have ended much worse. But you're right, no, no injuries reported as of now. That goes for the people at the business, the people around, and also firefighters. Now, uh, we did hear reports that some firefighters were facing heat exhaustion. The sheriff's office uh, tells us that they haven't been able to confirm that uh, just yet, but uh, certainly the heat was a factor in all of this. Now, the fire started with explosions around at 1 30 this afternoon we're told and the intensity of those explosions lasted for about an hour or so take a listen the uh, sheriff's office Public information officer tells us that this is transitioned into uh, Smith County, that they will be taking over this scene tonight, but a huge response out here today. Tyler Fire Department, Police Department, Sheriff's Office. We also saw uh, the TCEQ out here. Now, um, they evacuated a half mile radius around the Tyler Welding Supply. That's where the fire started uh, and continues to burn tonight. They say that they're gonna monitor situations for about another hour until they decide whether or not they're going to let firefighters go in and actually take on the next steps of this process. They uh, left the area due to due to the dangerous situation. So um, the, again, no injuries tonight. We do have some sound from the public information officer. Uh, right now, our plan to deal with the event is to continue to let the gas burn off. It's the safest way to deal with it so we have less of a hazmat situation. Uh, for the next hour or so, we'll continue to let the fire burn. And after that, we will reassess when it is safe for people to approach and actually start working the, uh, the scene itself. And the investigation in the very early process here, Sergeant Cossum, who you just heard from, he tells us that there were about 20 to 30 people inside the business whenever this fire started, including an employee who they believe was in the direct area of uh, where the fire uh, actually started. They are hoping to speak with him tonight. Of course, we'll stay out on this scene as the fire crews and investigators are out here and we'll stay on top of this side of the story. Now I want to toss it over to my colleague, Tristan Hardy, who has more on the evacuation tonight. Hey, Tristan. Now, those who have evacuated from the explosion can take shelter here at the Pine Spring Baptist Church. Now, the parking lot isn't filled with residents yet, but you're more than welcome to come here if you need shelter. Now, you should be seeing footage of the explosion a viewer sent us. Now, the Smith County Sheriff's Office called the pastor, Jack Newton, of the Pine Spring Baptist Church to provide shelter to residents. Now, when he heard the explosion occurred, he describes the sound to be similar to a thunderstorm. I was just in my office. I, I actually heard uh, several explosions, but uh, I it had rained earlier and I just assumed it was thunder. Anybody who's affected or has a need, uh, they're always welcome here, but especially in a time like this, we want to we wanna be a part of the community and take care of our folks here in the community. Now you should be seeing on your screen relief workers. They're setting up right now here at Pine, uh, Pine Spring Baptist Church. Now, Pastor Newton says he hopes people will be able to come back to their homes safely after the explosion, but there's no sign when residents will be able to do that. Now, we are, again, I'm at the Pine Spring Baptist Church. Now, if you've been affected by the explosion, you're welcome to come down here for shelter. And Pastor Newton says the church will open as, as long as it needs to be. Reporting in Tyler, Tristan Hardy, CBS 19, back to you. All right, thank you, Tristan, very much for that update. And we will continue to monitor this situation and bring you any updates when they become available. Of course, you can also find the latest information online and any updates at CBS19.tv. Well, we've got new details tonight in the